question asked often is how do you slow down a movie by half speed in Windows Live Movie Maker? Some people think the feature doesn't exist. It does exist if you know where to find it. I'm going to drop in a video here. And the way to do it is that you just have the video selected, go to edit, and speed is right here. If I want to do half speed, it's 0.5x, and it plays it at half speed. Or I can even do quarter speed at 0.25x. You can also go faster, up to 64 times speed, which is way too fast. Well, it's a short clip, you really can't see it. Four times speed, however, there we go. The only drawback to using Windows Live Movie Maker is that when you export the movie, if you change the speed, it does not carry the sound with it. It will be silent unless you add in a soundtrack. Now, if you can't stand that and want the old Windows Movie Maker in Windows 7, you can always use Movie Maker 2.6. If you go onto Google and search for Movie Maker 2.6 download, here you go. You've got it right here. And uh, you can run Live Movie Maker and the old Movie Maker side by side, as I'm doing right here. So if I have this one, there's Live Movie Maker and there's Movie Maker. So I'm running them both at the same time. You can do that without a problem. Now, compared to Windows Live Movie Maker, the sound does carry. So if I drop in a video clip here and then drop it into the timeline, uh, what you do is that instead of going to the area I showed you in the ribbon in Windows Live Movie Maker, you just right click the clip. Actually, I should say first that uh, you have to be viewing in timeline mode like this instead of storyboard, storyboard mode like this. So I just right click, go to video effects, and if I want to do half speed, I choose the effect slow down half, and then it slows it down by half. This feature is requested a lot because evidently a lot of people think slowing things down or speeding things up is really funny. Well, I don't know about that, but that's how to do it. So if you've got Windows Live Movie Maker, but it's not cutting it for you, you don't like it, or maybe you do like it, you like certain features in this, it does have better animations in it. But you also want the old one. Sure, you can run both. As you saw from here, this is Windows 7 Home Premium. So you can install 2.6 in Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Actually, that's an interesting point to make. When you go to download this, it'll say Movie Maker 2.6 for Windows Vista, but it will run on 7. It's not a problem. So anyway, that's it. Okay. <laughs>